quick review of this 4-in-1 hex key. It's a good little tool. You've got your different sizes stored in the cap, so um, you know they're nicely labelled. You'll be able to check the specs on, on what's included, but it goes up to 3mm. little magnet in here to retain them. That's handy. Uh, there's also a little magnet in uh, in the bottom of this tube which will hold it. Mostly aluminium, some sort of uh, steel here uh, and uh, these are hardened steel as well. Um, now I can't test the hardness, it seems pretty hard uh, but in terms of quality control uh, it looks pretty good to me. What have we got here? The two millimeter um, and check we're zeroed. We've got about Pretty good. That's pretty close to two millimeters, certainly within 0 0.01 of a millimeter. Good tolerance. Now, of course, the main problem you're dealing with with uh, hex keys, especially the ones less than three millimeters in size. Okay, so let's say that's two millimeters. How much meat is actually biting in to your cap screw? Very little. Watch as we turn this. So that's a measurement of how much meat. So it's about a quarter of a millimeter. That's the total amount of steel that's actually able to turn. Of course, there's, there's a, f a few corners. There's more than one, but you get the point. There's very little metal that separates that from just being a, a, a round bit of wire. That's nothing to do with the design of this 4-in-1, that's just hex keys. It's not a problem in the large sizes. You take a 5mm, 5mm, and you can see that, and we'll turn it. Okay, so you got a millimeter of, of, of metal biting in to turn on a 5mm. Once you get down to those small sizes, the amount of metal rapidly deplenishes, so you need a very good quality one, otherwise it will strip, even with the good quality ones, it's probably going to strip. So when you get down to these small sizes, turn it this way, here we go. Here's a square drive, and you see what I mean, this is, so what have we got there, 2.5mm, and as we turn it, so you got closer, you got more like 0.8 of a millimetre of meat on a square drive. Not as many corners, but you've still got a lot more metal there. Now also we'll see uh, your Torx, Torx fittings, let's see if we can get in the image here. So again, you've got more metal, so this one starts off, what size have I got here? That one's about two and a half millimetres. But in terms of the maximum amount of metal that you're getting, it's at least, what's that, 0 0.7 millimetres of meat times of metal, um, and, and several tips there. So a lot more strength, you can get more force into it if your screws get stuck. So the key of course is don't crank these up. Don't do them up too tight um, because even even your best instruments, are, uh, your best tools are not going to um, be able to take that cap screw out. So low torque shouldn't be putting a great deal of force on this. Okay, hope that helps.